Hey everybody, it's Raven, and welcome back to another episode of Crypt of the Necrodancer. I uh, recently had a very disappointing episode, and as such, I am back, hoping that this time things will not be as completely awful. So, here we go! Let's see if we can't make it to at least floor two this time. You know, I'm trying to dig buffer here, and the skeleton is just not <laughs> cooperating. <laughs> You know, maybe it's just one of those days where my rhythm's just thrown off just a little bit. But hey, free longsword early on. That's fantastic. If I could not screw it up by missing the beat. Got an easy first floor boss. Alright, that room is clear. Let's move back, we're gonna go find our shop, and maybe go and hit up that cracked, uh... That crack in the wall, you know, our, uh, tinted rock equivalent here. Some such things. Hmm, we do have a barrel. Not sure if we're gonna be able to use it or not. I don't think there's anywhere that I could... Oh wait, if I move it up here, I can get the the crack in the wall, and the barrel with one bomb would be sweet. So let's do that. Look at me with my smart decision making. Alright. This time we did not get blown up. Mm -hmm, I'll take that. Uh, yep, I'll take the ham as well. Cool. Seemed to work out pretty well for us. Plus one damage is going to help a lot. You know, getting plus damage on uh, this early on really makes the run much, much easier. Especially when you're dealing with these transforms, all non-equipped items. This is the one that's like the D6, basically. You know, we got to use Binding of Isaac as the baseline for all this stuff. Because that's the roguelike I think everyone has played. At a bare minimum, everyone's played a little bit of Isaac. If you're into roguelikes, chances are it's probably because Binding of Isaac got you there. I mean, that's my story. You know, I started playing Binding of Isaac like three years ago, maybe two years ago. Let's be fair. I'm not that uh, I'm not that awesome. Hey, right, yeah, let's pick this up. Oh, it's one-time use only. For some reason, I thought it was a spell. How am I supposed to tell the difference? <laughs> I thought it was one of those reusable ones that charges on kills. I don't know. Whoa, barrel paradise over here. Okay. There is a gem here. That's nice. A lot of free bombs off of that one, which means actually we can go and open up all of these barrels, which is awesome. Ooh, obsidian armor. I like it. I like it. This is uh, shaping up to be pretty good so far, I gotta say. So far, so good. Got some great early items that is gonna make this so much easier for me. You know, I need all the help I can get when it comes to this game, so... You know, the only thing right now that would be more awesome than what I've already got would be if we got some ballerina shoes so that I wouldn't drop my multiplier all the time. Plus one damage makes everything so much easier. Alright, and we cleared the floor. We can move into the exit. Don't know why I ran away from that guy. Alright. Even this guy's gonna be easy. Ooh, gigantism. I don't want to stick with the health, though. Alright, on to the next. So far, so good over here. Win items, if you're lucky. Let's go see what's in the shop first. Before we get into all that. Oh, sweet, sweet two damage sword. Oh, I don't have... I, don't, I thought I had a bomb. I do not have a bomb. Oh, okay, I did not mean to spend all that money there, but you know, what are you gonna do? I really wanna go get that longsword. I mean, the lunging thing is cool, but I'll be honest, the lunging thing messes me up. <laughs> so let's just get up to 300 gold. 
we can do that without completely dropping multipliers. Alright, just need to get a couple more. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, here we go. We are at 300. And we should be able to just sneak our... Oh, crap, I need to get into that room, don't I? There's something good in there. I can feel it. Or not. Or maybe it's just empty. <laughs> Alright, let's go get our Super Titanium Sword up here. This is gonna give us an extra point of damage. I don't have enough for the torch. That is a crying shame. If we hadn't wasted our money on that thing... By accident. For some reason I thought I could attack the, uh... Oh, 37! Come on! <laughs> for some reason I thought we could attack the Red Dragon through the shrine. Don't tell me that wouldn't be cool. And we now have enough damage to slice our way through crates, which is sweet. Alright, let's get back over there and buy that torch. That is going to be essential to our game plan. Having a big old beautiful torch to help us out. Alright, so far so good with this run. Plus two vision radius is very welcome. And we should just be able to pop down to the exit, but I want to clear this last room because every little bit counts when you're as bad as I am. <laughs> Alright, let's open this up. But you know... Oh, see? See? New mistakes. Just new mistakes. Five damage. Holy crap. Um, that's almost really tempting, but... Seeing as we've just discussed how bad I am in this game, I'm going to roll with a longsword and keep to the plan right now, which is to let my items carry me all the way to the end. Alright, we got our first boss, it's Coral Rift. This guy's not too bad. Let's see though, I might have to go full quiet mode. Especially when you've got a long sword. Aw, oh, crap. No! Just gotta clear these pools while no one's paying attention. Yeah, one hit. We are running a little bit low on health. I think I can withstand one more hit, but I want to be careful. Dead Let's take a look at, a sh at the shop first. A uh, item that like regenerates our health would be really awesome right about now. I can say that much. So much easier. Oh my god, I did not have what I thought I did. Wow, even more damage. Okay. Wow, okay. Well, you know, the gods have smiled upon me. I should probably use this meat, but I really want to look for the shop first, because if there is a shop here, I want to make sure that if there's heart containers in there, that I buy those before um, everything goes south. So let's see. Is there... There is a heart container. Okay, so smart play from me. Excellent, excellent. Plus one damage, strange vision. I don't think we really need any more damage. Although the bomb immunity isn't really doing a whole lot for me right now. I wonder if that counts for mushroom explosions. I don't know. Alright, let's play it smart and go get our twinkly item over here. Get some free gold is always welcome, right? Especially later on in the game when things get really expensive. I'm kind of salty that we can't open up this... Uh, whatever this room is right here, because we don't have the explosives required as I <laughs> dig buffer into something that's uh, gonna kill me anyway. Hey, we got a gigantism thing. Oh, we could have used that to open up the cracked rock. Oh, it's all right. We got some, we got some free, uh... all right, that looks like a red dragon. Trivialized. 
Whoa, dude. Whoa. Get back here. With my money, you troll. What are you? Get back. Ugh. All right, I really need to look up how to deal with those moles because I'm always getting hit by them. Let's uh, go up here into our shop. Okay. Um, all this looks really nice, but I can't afford this amazing armor. It looks amazing. I don't know if it actually is amazing. And the question mark ring, I think, needs to be combined with some other type of item for it to be actually useful. So we are not going to be picking that up. We're going to keep with my plus one damage because that just seems too good. Alright, what does this shrine do? Gain items, tougher enemies. Uh, no thanks. Ooh, ballerina shoes! Yes, I will take you. That will go nicely with my armor. Thank you. Hmm. Alright. We can spend the bomb or use the gigantism spell. We're gonna bomb it open. Oh, hey, look at this. Plus one heart container. Yes, please. Store three health. Yeah, we'll also take you. Um, can I? Nope, I can't bust down gold walls. <laughs> uh, well, you know, we, uh, oh shoot. I was like, I'm gigantic. Nothing's going to hurt me. And then I just walked right into that dude. And that dude. Okay. All right. Let's not throw the game here. Let's pay attention. You know, we, we're already doing much better than we did the last time. That was so sneaky and dastardly. Okay. Do I want the kill dash? I think the Ring of Courage has some other effects too, but I'm not sure. Um, we're gonna go ahead and stick with what we've got. <laughs> You know, the unknown is always one of the scariest things in these games. And you know, you, you could probably argue that I should be uh, like experimenting more, you know, with my playthroughs, considering it's not like I'm gonna clear the game this round or anything. But, I don't know. So if you think I should have picked up the other ring, I think it's called the Ring of Courage, let me know. I'm sure I'll hear all sorts of comments about it. We got the map. The map is always good. Mm, this looks like a secret room. No, it's actually just all grayed out. Okay, so far so good. We were able to get through that little area without taking any damage. And our uh, items are coming in beautifully for us. All right, I think the leg does three hearts, so. Yeah, flawless. <laughs> uh, let's see, what do I need? Um, ring of phasing, oh, that's terrible. That is not the item I was hoping for. I probably should have opened up the black chest. Ah, oh, 375 coins is nice. All right, here's the uh, true trial. Let's see what's in the shop. Transmorgify one of your items. So I'm assuming this is gonna turn any one of our items to glass. Or maybe it just, no, I think it just shifts them. But I don't think there's anything that we that I have that I necessarily want an improvement for, except for maybe the helmet. Oh, crown of thorns, that's nice. Awesome. It's one of my uh, personal favorite items because I need the health regen. All right, and hey, we can see where our exit is. There's a item up here that I'm gonna check out. High damage epic gold pickup. Again, if we were going for a high score, we might be interested in something like that, but not today. Today is just all about beautiful, beautiful survival. Oh, sweet blue dragon. 
Alright. Let's see what's in our shop. Um Let's see. Let's open this up. Ooh, multiplier based damage. That might actually be uh better for us. No, it's not, actually. Um well, is it? I think it is. Of that. Apparently you can't land any hits or anything when you're on. Hmm. Penalize a sloth. All items become glass. Gain shovel bigger levels. Don't need any of that. Oh, he got me. I keep forgetting like how big his hit area is. To the next. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, that was not good. Um... I'm very concerned about this map. Uh, we have a lot of health to make up for. Okay. That's good. There's a shrine down there, but I have no idea what it does. Um, let's pause for a moment. We're just gonna flex our fingers. We're gonna stretch out a little bit. Don't wanna screw this up. We're kinda sorta live here. All right, let's continue. <laughs> just needed like a, a short moment's peace. Lose items, gain health. Uh, I wonder what happens if I blow that up. Ooh, ham, perfect, that was beautiful. Alright, um, purchase a random item. Can you purchase charms in here? I don't think you can. Nope, I don't think you can. Um, kind of useless for us. Okay, let's go find that exit. I think it's down here where all the chaos is. Look at all this ice. Ooh, that was cool. Alright, Deep Blues, this guy shouldn't be too bad. Try not to get hit so we can get that uh, item bonus. Oh my god, Queenie. Oh, and the horse even got us. Wow. Man, you'd think I'd be better at this seeing as I know how to play chess, right? Alright. But hey, we made it to floor four, so, you know, every time I can save floor four in a single run, I feel really good about that. Alright. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, for some reason I thought I was going to be able to attack him. Wow, the enemies here are crazy. Okay. We take this nice and slow. Right, I looked up how to beat those guys. So, <laughs> if nothing else, I at least know. But what's interesting is that it's actually harder to deal with them with the longsword because it pushes them back. Okay, there is stuff on the walls that are absolutely trying to destroy me. Oh my goodness, okay, we are running into all, holy crap, gargoyles. Okay, let's take a moment to think about how not to screw this up. There is a shop. Uh, 
Um, yeah, so from what I understand, these green tiles, I can't... Oh my god, he hits uh, three spaces. That's right, I forgot about that. Okay, I totally messed that up. I forgot to back away after I landed in the green spot. Floor 4, we need some practice time, guys. So maybe what we'll do in the next video is we'll hit up Floor 4 and we will check out all of the evil that it has in store for us. But uh, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you had fun with this video. Thank you to all of the items that appeared throughout the run to help carry me all the way to the last level. And hopefully soon we'll beat this game. I just need a little bit more practice time getting acquainted with the evils of Floor 4. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.